just like threads, there is a large selection of needles to choose from when purchasing your hand needles. Most needles have a specific purpose and that affects their shape and size and also the shape of the point. So the differences in needles are the eye of the needle. The eye of the needle is where you thread the needle and it can be either round or it can be long. The second difference is the length of the needle in proportion to the eye of the needle. The third difference is the point of the needle. It can be sharp, it can be blunt, or it can be ballpoint. This needle is a tapestry needle. It has a large eye, it's a thick needle, and it's got a nice length on it. When you are buying needles, you will be able to tell the size of the needle by the number on the package. This is a size 9. It is a sharp needle. 9 is indicating the um, size of the needle. The larger the number on a hand sewing needle, the sharper and finer the needle. So you can see, compared to this tapestry needle that's used for heavier fabrics, this is a much smaller, finer, sharper needle. My favorite needle that I like to use when I'm hand sewing is the Cruel needle. This is a size 9, which is a nice sharp uh, point, nice size needle. What I like about Cruel needles is that it has a larger eye, which is much easier to thread, and it has a sharp point. When you are sewing with needles, it is a very good idea to get in the habit of using a thimble. Not only does this facilitate pushing the needle through the fabric quickly, it also helps protect your fingers in case you're hitting an obstruction and the needle wants to back up into your finger. So thimbles come in many different sizes. People wear them on different fingers. I wear it on this finger so that I can push it through, but it also stays out of my way when I need to use my fingertips. When you are storing your needles, it is a good idea to have these little pumice filled sacks. They come on many um, of the pin cushions and it's filled with like a pumice um, rock and when you stick your needles into it, it helps keep them um, nice and sharp. It's always good to have a variety of needles because uh, the fabric weight, you're going to decide which size needle um, would be most successful with that fabric.